Ready? Got it. All right, now let's get one. Guys, ready? Yeah, come on in here. Yeah. So the next stop on the Shut Up and Party Tour was none other than Oxford Hills Comprehensive High School. crazy to me too because they kind of like cut off half of the gym but there was still like four or 450 500 kids in there and just the energy that that school brings I always like going to Oxford Hills just the students are so cool it's just it's what shut up and party is all about to me I, I'm not gonna swear but I loved it so I decided to give out some Q stickers because I, I work with Q97.9, my dream job, by the way. And uh, they go, hey, can you sign this for me? And I was like, I'm not Justin Bieber, but find me a Sharpie. Hell yeah, I'll sign this for you. And then all of a sudden, 50 people later, I was still going while I was DJing and mixing all at the same time. I must have signed like 50 of those stickers and my wrist was killing me, but the whole thing about it just felt so cool that that people can appreciate what you do so much and that they look at you in a certain light the same way that I might look at people that I idolize, you know? And just for them to look at me like that makes me realize I'm doing something, I'm doing something right and I'm doing something worthwhile. And uh, that's, that means the world to me. This is maybe like an hour and a half or so into the gig, right? Two hours maybe. I leave the, the DJ booth, I leave the gym, and all of a sudden a spotlight, poof. It's surreal, man. I'm kinda, I like wake up some, some, some days, Dave, and I'm like, my life is kinda like a movie. And it's, uh, it's just, it's unbelievable to me. The next stop on the Shut Up and Party Tour is actually, I'm teaming up with the NOS Tour, and uh, I'm gonna be at SMCC. You got anything else for us before we wrap this thing up? Matter of fact, I do, all right? And these just came in yesterday. So no, I have not been hiding these from you. I'm getting tweets and DMs like crazy. But right now I unveil to you my brand new Shut Up and Party t-shirt. First, first of its kind. Shut Up and Party to me is more than just a tour. It's more than just a saying. It's uh. To me, it's, it's how I pretty much live my life every single day. And uh, I always try to forget any negative stuff and just be like, you know what? Shut it up, block it out of your mind, and just party. Life is a party, have a great time. So we will uh, see you here next time as we recap the uh, NOS tour. Damn right, and until then,
Oxford Hills, take one. Let's see, so it's episode two. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I should lead it in. So the next stop on the Shut Up and Party Tour was Oxford Hills High School. Yeah? Cool. Take that whenever you're ready. All right. <clears throat> so the next stop on the Shut Up and Party Tour was none other than Oxford Hills Comprehensive High School. Why do they call it comprehensive? Guess is as good as mine, Dave. <laughs> So when we drove up there, we didn't have any sandwiches, man. I was starving. Me too. That wasn't, that wasn't the best part of the night, for sure. What did we, did we end up eating later? Yeah, we went through McDonald's. Matter of fact, and this pissed me right off. We went through McDonald's because both of us just wanted a, a McFlurry. All we wanted was some ice cream, right? Yeah. They didn't have any. So we decided, ha, we're smarter than them. We'll go to Wendy's. But guess what? Their damn frosty machine is down. Just wasn't our night at all when it comes to fast food, which isn't a terrible thing. So we we may have struck out with the fast food, but no. the gig was hype, and that was a big venue. I was not expecting that. Yeah, it's uh, they. I don't know. It's it's crazy to me too because they kind of like cut off half of the gym, but there was still like four, four hundred and fifty, five hundred kids in there, and just the energy that that school brings. I always like going to Oxford Hills. Just the students are so cool. They're so supportive. And uh, they're all just about having a good time, which to me is, you can't really beat that. I had a good time because I didn't have to carry any gear. That was key. Actually, another DJ company that works closely with the school supplied the gear. We just showed up with our decks and we're like, all right, let's play. Uh, now, there was one stunt that you pulled and I don't think the students were ready because they were looking at me and yeah. I wasn't DJ and I was yeah. filming and I had to point out where you where you went to. So where'd you go? Well, what was crazy to me is I walk into the venue and everything's set up, it looks nice. And then I look over just like to the top right of the place of the gym and I was like, what is, I go, how do I get to that balcony? Because already in my mind, I'm thinking, what can I do that the crowd isn't going to expect? So I drop a song. No, no, this is maybe like an hour and a half or so into the gig, right? Two hours maybe. I leave the, the DJ booth and people are like looking at me like, where the hell is the DJ going, right? I leave the gym and I go up this f flight of stairs and uh, this kid lets me in into this balcony completely opposite side of where we were spinning. And all of a sudden a spotlight poof, hits me. And I'm up there with a confetti cannon and the mic, and I'm getting everyone hype. I'm like, over here, over here. The crowd just erupts. It was, uh, it was just, they were so loud. It, it felt so cool. And I just gripped that thing. Pow! Pop it. Confetti's flying everywhere. People are screaming the top of their lungs. It's just, it's what Shut Up and Party is all about to me. I, I'm not going to swear, but I loved it. You had a lot of confetti cannons. You even gave uh, one to some of the party goers. I did. I felt, you know, those things are so fun to use. Why not let the students use them? That's why I was also tossing around cans of uh, Silly String, too, which came to bite me in the ass because they decided to attack me with it. But what can you do? It's all, it's all part of the fun. And that wasn't the last handout. I saw those Q uh, stickers going everywhere. Yeah, man. I mean... So I decided to give out some Q stickers because I, I work with Q97.9, my dream job, by the way. And uh, they go, hey, can you sign this for me? And I was like, <laughs> I'm not Justin Bieber, but find me a Sharpie. Hell yeah, I'll sign this for you. And then all of a sudden, 50 people later, I was still going while I was DJing and mixing all at the same time. I must have signed like 50 of those, those, those uh, stickers. And my wrist was killing me, but the whole thing about it just felt so cool that that people can appreciate what you do so much and that they look at you in a certain light the same way that I might look at people that I idolize, you know? And just for them to look at me like that makes me realize I'm doing something, I'm doing something right and I'm doing something worthwhile. And uh, that's that means the world to me. And it wasn't just the stickers. There was like constantly groups of people coming behind wanting to take selfies and yeah. Snapchatting. And I kept grabbing the camera thinking yeah. it was a, a, a picture. And I was like, oh, I think I just said a Snapchat. Did yeah. you want me to do that? Yeah. I mean, that whole thing was cool. I mean, 
I gotta tell you, like, 90% of my gigs, I all book on social media. It comes from followers on Twitter that maybe listen to my show, and, you know, they they need a DJ for their event, and they've seen the, the videos I've done, and just social media, it's completely changed my life. And it, uh, it, it helps me, it helps me get booked at these schools. It helps me, more importantly, connect with these kids and, and with these students, and, uh, yeah, just to be able for somebody to be like, hey, I need you to take this selfie with me. Like, I need it, you know? It's it's surreal, man. I'm kind of, I like wake up some, some, some days, Dave, and I'm like, my life is kind of like a movie. And it's, uh, it's just, it's unbelievable to me. I, you know, I, I'm fortunate, as it says, fortunate, really fortunate to be able to do this. So what's the, uh, what's the next stop on the Shut Up and Party Tour? Uh, let's see. Let me think about that. Uh, it's in my book somewhere on my phone. SMCC? Yes, that's right. Yep. Uh, the next step, uh, sorry. The next stop on the Shut Up and Party Tour is actually I'm teaming up with the NOS Tour. And uh, I'm going to be at SMCC, uh, which is a local college here in uh, South Portland. Expecting between 14 to 1600 kids. And, uh,. You know, I've done some really big high school events before. I've I've been fortunate to play at the State Theater and, you know, do a bunch of really cool gigs. But just to be able to be part of a, a college tour is uh, something that I'm really, really looking forward to. I'll be teaming up with my buddy DJ Ross. And, uh, yeah, I'm ready to show the NOS tour what the Shut Up and Party tour is all about. Nice. Sure. Just a combination of events, and you're going to be hyping, right? Yeah, I'm going to be MC that night, and uh, I'm going to let them handle the music. I'm going to come in, do do what I do, get the crowd hype, get everyone on edge, and just make sure that every person in there, you know, knows that their you know ten to fifteen, whatever it was that they paid to get in, was worth it. Nice. Um, you got anything else for us before we wrap this thing up? Matter of fact, I do. All right. And these just came in yesterday. So no, I have not been hiding these from you. I'm getting tweets and DMs like crazy. But right now I unveil to you my brand new Shut Up and Party t-shirt. First first of its kind. And uh, yeah, man. I love this thing. I'll have these for sale at every gig I go to while, while supplies last. And uh... I've been rocking this thing all day. I got people asking me about it. Um, I'm so excited about this. I, I I love creating merchandise for people to help to help brand myself and to shut up and party. To me, is more than just a tour. It's more than just a saying. It's uh, to me, it's it's how I pretty much live my life every single day. And uh, I always try to forget any negative stuff and just be like, you know what? Shut it up. Block it out of your mind and just party. Life is a party. And have a great time. It's ultimately what it means to me. Nice. So we will uh, see you here next time as we recap the uh, NOS tour. Damn right. And until then, you know what to say. Shut up and party. Nice. Cool? Good work.
Um, this is my shut up and party tour. I'm just gonna open. Y'all crazy. 